Hi there. If you're in the market for a new lawnmower, I don't know why you wouldn't consider an electric lawnmower. <clears throat> I've had this lawnmower for over 15 years, or right around 15 years, and the only maintenance I've had to do is change the battery in it twice, and the battery I think was somewhere close to $100 each time. I installed it myself, it was very easy to do. Just as easy as installing a battery in your car. Um, so the advantages of uh, electric lawnmower, very easy to start. You don't have to worry about cranking on that cord to pull it and pull it and pull it. And this model here, just push the button, pull back on and that, and there you go. It starts every time. You don't have to worry about gas, you don't have to worry about changing the oil, tune-ups, any of that stuff. You don't have to worry about the gas sitting over the winter. And then when you start it, try to start up your mower and the carburetor, whatever's all gummed up. Um, it's actually cheaper to run. Estimates vary, but um, from what I've figured out, it's about a dollar or so per third of an acre uh, to run the electric lawnmower. And it's somewhere around four or five dollars if you do a third of an acre with a gas powered lawnmower. Let's see, what are some of the other advantages? Uh, it's a lot quieter, uh, much quieter than a gas powered lawnmower. And, uh, and this model can do just the same thing as a gas powered. Um, you can do mulching, which is what I do most of the time with this. Uh, but you also have the ability to add a bag to the back and you can bag your uh, glass, grass clippings if you want. But uh, I don't understand why you wouldn't just mulch all the time. It adds good nutrients back into the lawn and mulches them up finely enough so it, they disperse and uh, uh, just add nutrients to the lawn. Um, the only th the only disadvantage I see, and I see it, I live in Oregon, and here in Oregon in the, in the spring, we get a lot of rain, and the grass can be pretty damp, and the grass also grows fast because we've got showers of rain, and then you get sun breaks, and so you, the grass can get kind of tall and damp, and it does take a little bit more effort to get through it, I think, with a, an electric lawnmower, but, you know, that's maybe for a month or so out of the year. Uh, you, still mows just fine. Usually what I'll do then is I will use the the grass catcher because it uses less energy just to mow it and then push it into the bag as opposed to trying to mulch, mulch it. So usually the first few mowings I'll uh, grab with the grass catcher. So I'm gonna run through my lawn here and show you how well it cuts and uh, it's up to you, but like I said, I don't understand why, why more people don't decide to go with electric lawnmower. It's So just to give you an idea, I'm just going to show you the, the yard that I uh, have to mow. Um, here's a pretty big area here. You can see it extends through the swing set and down by the apple tree over by the trailer. And then I've got this uh, little bit smaller area here uh, next to the house. And then I've got an area about almost twice as big as this that you're looking at right here in the front yard. And then uh, I'll show you down below what I mow as well. And usually I can mow this area and all of this and the front yard uh, with one charge. Now in the spring when it's really wet and heavy, uh, I might uh, do it in two charges. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell here, but you can kind of see the, the trees, a couple trees here off to the left. That's the edge of my property and that goes all the way down to the river. Uh, that's the Willamette River in the background. And then on the right, you can see that uh, taller tree and you can see the, uh, the wood retaining wall there. My property extends along there all the way down. So I mow this whole portion. Um, and in the summer, I can usually do that with one charge. Uh, in the spring, when it's wet and heavy, it definitely takes two charges. But uh, just to give you an idea, I do that all with my electric lawnmower. 
Uh, everybody else around here uses their riding lawnmowers, but uh, I guess I like to get my exercise and, and I don't want to have one other gas powered piece of equipment to maintain. So there you have it. So this whole area here that I mow is approximately 7,000 square feet. 